If you are familiar with international political relationships among countries, then you must know about the bitter relation between the United States and North Korea. Tensions between North Korea and the US have escalated during Donald Trump's presidency, with threatening tweets and talk about the size of each country's nuclear bud. After the incidents of dropping nuclear bomb in Japan's Hiroshima and Nagasaki, the whole world knows what can be happen if the situation happens again. Let it be any country or state, at the end of the day many people will suffer. However, different countries like the US, Russia, China, North Korea and South Korea are countries who own many nukes and nuclear missiles which could destroy any country. Nonetheless, the tension between these countries is not a new thing. Though US and North Korea often falls under different argument, and their main target is like throwing nukes on each other. But what would happen if North Korea actually decided to follow through on its threat and launch a nuke? We will look into the situation minute by minute. Let's dive into it. First of all, North Korea is one of the powerful countries in the world. They have got the power to challenge any big countries to prove their power. Nuclear weapons of North Korea are quite famous. North Korea has been conducting regular missile tests as part of its weapons development program. Hypersonic as well as short-range, intermediate-range and long-range ballistic missiles have all been tested since the start of the year. North Korea has rockets that can fly thousands of miles and have the capacity of destroying a city. Missiles that can reach to the United States. North Korea's Waisen-14 has a potential range of 8,000 kilometers, although some studies suggested it could travel as far as 10000 kilometers if fired on a maximum trajectory. This would give Pyongyang its first truly intercontinental ballistic missile, capable of reaching New York. The Kim Jong-un regime recently returned to major weapons tests, conducting a full-range intercontinental ballistic missile launch on March 24. It had refrained from such activity for more than four years. The latest ICBM test was bigger and more powerful, flying higher, farther and longer than anything Pyongyang had showcased before. In October 2020, North Korea unveiled a new ballistic missile. It is a two-stage liquid-fueled missile, but with a greater length and diameter. It could possibly carry multiple warheads. As yet unnamed, it is believed to be able to deliver a nuclear warhead to anywhere in the US, and its size surprised even seasoned analysts when it was put on show in 2020. In January 2021, North Korea unveiled another missile, a new type of submarine-launched ballistic missile, which it declared to be the world's most powerful weapon. The unveiling of the new missiles appeared to be a message to the Biden administration of the North's growing military prowess, say experts. North Korea is getting more powerful with their missile day by day, and U.S. being their number one opponent, experts always assume that if anything goes wrong, North Korea actually can attack U.S. with their nukes. Kim Jong-un, the president of North Korea, has been very clear about it through his tweets. Though those were just jokes as they have said. But what if he actually does something fatal? North Korea sees its nuclear program as essential to regime survival, serving to deter a U.S.-led invasion. What will happen if North Korea attacks with nuclear missile on U.S.? It is just a regular day in North Korea. Technicians are getting ready to bring out a massive vehicle. The massive vehicle has only one purpose, to transport the equally massive Waisen-15 intercontinental ballistic missile. Over 40 feet tall, the missile is taller than a two-floor home and has the power to destroy several square miles of a densely packed city. The commander picks up his phone and connect with Kim Yun-un to listen the final word. One signal of the dictator, and the missile goes whoosh. Between the first few seconds, the Huaisen Intercontinental Ballistic Missile fires its main engine, shaking the entire launch complex towards its core. Launch directors hide behind explosion screens or congregate inside the armored compartment of a relatively safe launch pad, cowering in case something goes wrong and the rocket and all its fuel explode. Two seconds later, the rocket proved to be in good working order and took off from the ground. The next moment, 
the United States would detect the launch within a minute from satellites in space that have heat sensors. A low Earth satellite sends an instantaneous flash alert to the second space warning squadron at Buckley Air Force Base in Colorado, the sibling devices throughout the wide net of us missile defense, and to the commanders of each us geographical command. And those crews in the United States would have about three minutes from the time they got the first sensor information until they are supposed to assess whether they are under attack or not. U.S. Space Force employees were stunned by the many warnings about cyber threats and rushed to sift through the data. However, humans are much slower than machines, and it will take time to verify the threat. When the US Force is trying to figure out the situation, the missile of North Korea already flew higher in distance with its strong engine. Meanwhile, Space Force of the US have found out that the attack is authentic and they sent signal to South Korea to know how far the missile could have approached. By the seconds, the first stage of the missile gradually comes to an end as the engine is out of fuel. And the second stage takes place. A second later, the second stage engine fires and the vehicle lurches forward as it prepares to exit the Earth's atmosphere. Meanwhile, the President of America will get notified about the ongoing situation. Not knowing the actual target, they will try to figure out the location and start taking initiatives. If North Korea's target is the White House, then they will immediately vacate the White House and take the President in a safe place as soon as possible. Moments later, the Patriot Missile Defense will proceed to the location to defend the upcoming missile. Their SM-3 missiles can also be used for short-range ballistic missile intercepts just outside the atmosphere, but require the target to be in its descent stage. USA is continuously looking for the missile's trajectory and speed so that they can find the location. USA is also well equipped with its capable aircrafts which could defend against a ballistic missile. Nuclear-capable aircraft are prepared for a possible nuclear mission, and nuclear munitions are prepared for possible loading and launch. After about five minutes, the second stage of the Huaisen 15 missile runs out of fuel. The payload detaches from the second stage and using chemical-powered thrusters adjusts its course and heading. The missile is now flying unpowered, riding the incredible momentum built up by the massive two-stage rocket and moving as much as 4.2 miles a second. Meanwhile, us along with South Korea will try to find out North Korean nuclear sites and neutralize them from within. At the moment, the US forces are quite ready to stop the warhead to result any disaster. Another fear strikes in. What if the warhead launches its decoys? It will be a great challenge for the US forces to fight with the decoys and find out the actual warhead or else everything will be destroyed in front of their eyes. In the meantime, the US president boards Air Force One. Upon arrival he asks the United States Congress for a formal declaration of war with North Korea. After 14 minutes, the warhead breaks up into smaller fragmented pieces. This metallic confetto is meant to confuse radar systems and make it harder to target the warhead. The warhead is now in eight pieces. Each piece could be a separate warhead or could be a decoy meant to lure missile defense systems away from the real warhead. Luckily, USA has TPY-2 and C-based X-band radars which are fit for detecting the decoys and destroy them. Around at 15 minutes on the clock, using extremely precise measurements, the dummy warheads are singled out. It seems, North Korea has failed to build the fake warheads like the original one. After 20 minutes, American X scream through space at over 4,000 miles an hour. They are just seconds from a successful intercept or a catastrophic failure. The first DKV screams past the intercept point and miss is the North Korean weapon by a dozen miles. The second DKV hits nothing. It also miss is the North Korean warhead by over three miles. A second after the previous CKV, the third strikes find its target and BOOM. A bright flash is seen above the sky. The warhead is shattered completely. The threat has been neutralized. The whole nation and the president get the good news. It would take USA with their capable forces, 
only 22 minutes to defend missile attack from North Korea, though this never actually happened. But if it happens, USA has the capability to stop any kind of nuclear attack from North Korea until North Korea comes up any other perspective. If North Korea somehow succeeded in their nuclear attack upon USA, many people could have lost their lives. Not only that, the after effects would be more dangerous. Let's just hope anything like this never happens. Thank you so much for watching.